Time for something a little different on the channel. I'd like to introduce you to a young friend of mine, Kyron Wilson. Kyron and I have worked together since he was about 14, and I have had the privilege of watching his skills develop through the amateur and now the professional ranks. We met up very recently and Kyron volunteered to do one of his practice routines for us and I will comment on some of the aspects of his game. Even on the very first shot that we see Kyron playing here, we get a sense of how level the cue is in relation to the table bed and how much cue power the lad has as he gets at and through the cue ball. In this uh, next shot, we see Kyron's establishing a pre-shot routine. And what I want you to particularly notice is the pause at the cue ball. This is an aid to Kyron's concentration. This is what he focuses on to make sure that he's hitting the cue ball exactly, and I mean exactly, where he intends to hit it. What I would like you to take notice on is how much Chiron chalks his cue. He doesn't scrub the chalk on, he's aware that chalk is a grit and will wear the tip away. He'll also put excess chalk on the table, totally unnecessary. He wants that tip to last him a long time, so he just lightly brushes the tip with the chalk. Here in this picture there are two points to take note of. One is that both his legs are bent, dispensing with the theory that there is a need to keep the right leg straight and rigid. It's obviously easier to stay still when one of the legs is rigid, but it's not essential. Chiron uh, bends both legs because he's quite a tall lad, and he needs to get the cue parallel with the table as much as possible. So it, to facilitate this, he bends both his legs. It doesn't really matter as long as you stay still. The next point I would like you to take notice of is the distance between his right hand and the body. This is, as he plays the shot, is going to transfer to the front and become the follow through. Again, a very important point.
here we can see the importance Chiron places on bringing the cue down on the line of the shot. He does not bring it across the line of the shot. And all these uh, pre-shot routines are very important, both in practice and in matches. Throughout this practice, you'll notice that Chiron has been concentrating on the pink ball. He's also been using the diagonals between the centre pocket and the corner pocket, which I talk about in one of my videos named Stun for Control. Here, Chiron is potting the pink and making use of those diagonal lines for positional purposes. This picture demonstrates the firmness of Chiron's bridge. Take note that if the thumb moves, then the cue will move. This is a classic example of how firm and how stationary that bridge is. This again shows how stationary Chiron is during the execution of a shot. His head hardly moves, although his legs are bent, uh, they don't move, they don't flex anymore or straighten anymore. A typical example of how stationary a player should be. A problem that a lot of players have is they're anxious to see where the ball has gone. As a consequence of this, they lift their head. Please notice how Kyron's head remains stationary before and after the shot. Chiron performs shoulder mobility exercises on a daily basis. This allows him to get as low as he possibly can without any due stress or strain in the shoulder girdle.
Here we see a demonstration of the tremendous Q power Chiron possesses. Notice how he keeps the cue parallel with the table. He strikes low on the cue ball. He relaxes. He gets through the ball and he hangs on to it. This is talked about in one of my videos on timing. Here we have a demonstration of what a good bridge should look like. The fingers are well spread, the thumb is locked against the forefinger, there is no possibility of any movement whatsoever. Please remember, if it moves, then the cue moves, and you will not strike the cue ball when you intend to. This shows how Chiron uses a little wrist in the execution of his shots. It's not too much wrist and there is no inversion. He tries to keep the hand in the same plane all the time. Inversion can and does cause some players a little problem. Here we have a classic example of how the rear fingers unfurl. They refurl as he plays the shot. They do not lose contact with the cue. The unfurling of the fingers assist with keeping the cue parallel on the backswing using the minimum amount of major muscles of the arm. As the fingers refurl onto the cue, they add the timing into the shot. And this is talked about in my video on the grip. Kyron is recognised as one of the best rest players in the game. Some of the shots that he can play with it are absolutely phenomenal. He uses a one finger grip with quite a long backswing, again accentuating the fact that he allows the cue to do the work rather than his own muscles. Here, Kyron is finishing his practice off with a little bit of flamboyance, attempting a double into a corner pocket. Not to be recommended. I hope you found that practice routine by Kyron informative and useful, and we hope to do more of these in the future.